So we have the arm booth. So um, what are you showing here? So what we have here is the Freescale K60 tower board uh, with expansion boards for audio and LCD. Uh, currently showing off a Cortex M4 and the ability of the DSP libraries built into the new Cortex M4. So what do you do with this? What we have is an MP3 player at the moment, uh, decoding the MP3 and adding post-processing to it. And effectively what we're showing is the CPU load on an M4 as opposed to an M3. So currently we're sitting at about 54% CPU load for the M4. If we max this out, you can see it's slowed down. But if you turn up the music, which isn't playing, Excellent. <laughs> reset the system. Okay. So you took the this thing and you did the whole idea. Um, partly, I was responsible for. Ooh, sorry, I get shot. That's the issue. <laughs> it's me. I'm uh, what's it called. Uh, it's the problem with the carpet. You see, it's this carpet here. <laughs> it short circuits the whole thing. <laughs> Right, so if we try this again, and I'm going to keep myself out of it. Yeah. Sorry, let's try this again. So what we have is a Cortex M4 sitting at about 50% CPU load. It's gone again. This is incredible. No problem. Cool. So how long did the time did it take you to do this? The entire project took about a month. Um, So what we can do is we've activated a, we've basically activated some post-processing on the MP3. As you can see, even though the CPU is loaded up at about 90%, the audio is still playing absolutely fine. However, if we switch this to the M3 version and do the same thing, you can hear straight away that there, there isn't enough power inside the M3 without those DSP abilities to decode and add the post-processing at the same time. Cool. So it's uh, hardware acceleration, combining uh, ARM with the DSPs and everything. And everything Absolutely, cool. that's Fine. the whole idea of the new Cortex M4.